Welcome to Aboriginal Art in America, a podcast where each week we spend a few minutes with a work by an Indigenous Australian artist. I'm going to hand things over to Margot Smith. She is the director of the Kluge Roo Aboriginal Art Collection. I was thinking about an artwork I wanted to share with you today, and what came to mind was a photographic print by Tony Albert. Albert is a Girame Yidinji Kuku Yalanji artist from northern Queensland. This artwork is called Brothers Moving Targets. It depicts a young Aboriginal man about 16 to 20 years of age. He's shirtless and emblazoned on his chest is a bright red target made of three concentric circles. Brothers was inspired by an incident of racially charged police violence that took place in 2012. What happened was a group of Aboriginal teenagers stole a car and went joyriding through the streets of Sydney. When the police arrived, they shot into the car, wounding two of the young men aged 14 and 17. This use of excessive force is highly unusual in Australia. When word of the incident reached the public, protests sprang up throughout the city. Albert attended one such protest where he saw a group of young Aboriginal men whip off their shirts to reveal targets that they had painted on their chests. He was inspired by this image and decided to recreate it for a body of work that he called Brothers. Albert took photographs of young men living in Sydney and embellished them in various ways. In this case, he scarred the surface of the print by scratching through the image. This artwork calls to mind how Indigenous people, Black people, and people of color are targeted by police globally. The scarring of the print refers to the tension and fear that young men of color experience when they feel like moving targets. Brother speaks to the current moment, when ongoing protests in America in defense of black lives have generated similar protests in Australia. Specifically, Australians are speaking out about deaths in police custody and the high rate of incarceration among Aboriginal people, two indicators of systemic racism. Find out more at kluge-ru.org. Aboriginal Art in America is a production of the University of Virginia and a member of the Virginia Audio Collective. Listen and subscribe at virginiaaudio.org.